back here at the South Point Arena at the 2021 D3Hoops.com Classic, talking with all nine teams. I, I uh, re-reference it every time. It is still nine, last I checked, here at, at the Classic. We're talking with Mike McGrath. He's head coach of the University of Chicago. Uh, his team here for the first time. We're gl obviously, we've seen you many places before. Baltimore, Chicago, more Chicago, Rochester, Atlanta. You get the picture. Glad to have you here in Las Vegas. Great to be here. We're glad to have, we're enjoying it quite a bit. I'm glad. You know, so obviously first time trip for University of Chicago. One of the things we always want to know is what are you guys as a team doing outside of basketball? We've actually had a lot of fun. We're, you know, th the reason we're here in Las Vegas, we do a lot of traveling typically yeah. within the UAA. You know, it's something that we have the advantage of being able to do. So we don't often take trips like this. This was supposed to be the year of our foreign trip that we take every three years with our team. That got canceled, so we decided to substitute it and bring in um, and come here for okay. our seniors and give them a chance to do that. And we're really, we're lucky at the University of Chicago. We have tremendous alumni support, and we've been able to have a lot of fun. We took the guys to see Penn and Teller the other night, right. went out to a nice dinner. Um, tomorrow, going over to Top Golf, went out to the Hoover Dam. So, you know, obviously we're here for basketball and here to compete, but we're also trying to enjoy the time we're here. Right, because I guess otherwise, you'd, you'd end up in a situation where you are going to all of those cities I just named, and, you know, it's, it's great, obviously, for, for those student athletes because typically D3 student athletes don't log nearly as many frequent flyer miles or, or whatever. Um, but, yeah, here you get an opportunity to do something in season outside of conference. Exactly. And like I said, most, a lot of teams do this every winter and every holiday. They go yeah. somewhere, they take a trip, and, you know, we do so much traveling in our league, there's less of an impetus to do that. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of fun to have this opportunity, and we're excited to be here. And one of the great things about it for me, and you know me, long enough, Pat. I, I love watching college basketball and Division Three basketball, and the opportunity to watch games like Transy and Marietta right now, which teams I don't normally get to see, and, you know, that's a lot of fun for a tournament like this. Because you guys faced Marietta yesterday. Marietta, you know, top 10 team. You guys have faced a bunch of top 10 teams, uh, including just this season. How, how, how did they... I'm going to say, how did they rate, but how did they compare to some of the other top teams you've uh, seen? It, it's, it's hard for me to distinguish between Marietta, Wheaton, and Was or, uh, Illinois Wesleyan, who are the three top ten teams we played this year. I think I think any one of them could beat anybody. Um, they, they all have distinct strengths, um, things they do very, very well, and I think anybody could beat anybody on any day. And um, it's, been, it's, it's fun to compete against teams like that. We enjoy it. It gets us ready for the UAA. Yeah, one of the things we like about seeing UAA rosters, too, is, like, kids from all over the place, right? Now, you had a couple kids from Palatine. Palatine? Palatine. Palatine. I don't know how far out you go in Chicagoland and still calls a, a, a city the suburbs. But, you know, obviously, guys from Illinois. And then, yeah, from all over the place. Yeah. It's, you know, an institution like ours just attracts people from all over the place. You know, we've got a kid from Canada, a kid from Turkey, a kid from Lithuania on our roster out of 16 guys this year. And I think that I think we have as many foreign students as we do from Chicago, the Chicagoland area. And it's it's a, just a testament to what the University of Chicago is nationally and, and worldwide as an institution. I'm going to ask you tough questions about the UAA for a second. I mean, in this COVID world, right, it's going to be difficult to put kids on a plane just like philosophically, right? Is it, I, you guys haven't had conference play, you didn't have conference play last year, obviously, uh, and you haven't started conference play yet, but that's coming. So you know, what are you guys facing? What are the people talking about? You know, we're obviously trying to be safe and trying to be careful and be smart for our kids. Um, you know, I think we're getting to a world where we're trying to figure out how to manage this stuff. Yeah. And um, at the University of Chicago, I can't speak for all the UA schools. We all have our own situations. We all, Obviously, NYU's had a different environment than the rest of us. I know at the University of Chicago, we want to be safe, but we want to be back to business. And we're trying to find that balance. Right now, we're, as far as I know, every UA team is full go for the season. I haven't heard anything. There have been a couple announcements recently about no fans yeah. at games, but I, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. Um, you know, plane travel, airline travel, you know, you're exposed maybe no differently than anywhere else, is my sense. So. And what's in terms in terms of like basketball on the floor? What do we look for from the conference this year? It's really hard to say. You right. know? Is it a be and because nobody played last year, basically, right? Well, that's part of it. Yeah. And then you kind of didn't know how guys would come back. I know, I know. Talking to Jason Zimmerman down at Emory, you know, he's got a guy back in grad school, and it's been hard for him to get to practice. Huh. You know, it's just a different setup than we've had before. Um, so how guys coming back in another year, getting their feet back under them. Um, 
I think if, if we were just coming into a normal year and we knew where everybody was at, it looked like as good a year as the UA has had in a long time. I think there's good teams top to bottom, and everybody has had really good players coming back. I think we stumbled a little bit out of the block, and I think a lot of that was a byproduct of not playing last year. Um, but I think things are going to start to round into form as we get in the league, and I think it's going to be as you know as competitive a season as we've had. Yeah, and you mentioned stumbling out of the block. Any difference for you guys, like those first few games, and then you've been on a – I'm not going to go all the way full tailspin, but it's been a struggle the last several games. Yeah, I would, it's, it's – I think everything's been a byproduct of who we played. Sure. Um, you know, I think we had some games. You know, our first game against Colorado College and our two exhibition games were, I thought, as ugly as we've played in the time I've been at the University of Chicago. Yeah. We're actually a much better team right now than we were at that point. Some of that was coming out of last year. Right. We have a very young group. You know, we have four sophomores and five freshmen that are essentially all in their first year of college basketball. It's over half our roster. Yeah. So it took us a while to get our feet on us. I don't. I think we're playing better basketball. I think we're a better team than we were in the early year. I just think we played some really good competition. It's Mike McGrath, head coach of the University of Chicago. His team here at the 2021 D3Hoops.com Classic.